So today I am comparing the top of the line cordless dog clippers. Each one comes highly recommended by many professionals, but which one will come out on top? So here's the brands that we're going to cover. We're going to cover Andis, Heinegger, Joy Z, Zolita, Artero, and Wall. So I will work my way down that list going through each one and I'll touch on their strokes per minute, their speed settings that are available on each one, their weight, which is really important because the lighter it is, the easier it is on your wrist. And I'll cover the run times, types of motors in each one, whether or not they use a cord or have a docking station to recharge. And of course, the most important part, the price. I'll go with average prices though, since this is gonna vary quite a bit depending on where you live. Okay, let's get started with Andis. First up, we're gonna have the Andis Pulse ZR2. This clipper boasts the most speed settings with an impressive five speeds. Its strokes per minute are ranging from about 2,500 up to about 4,500 on the highest setting. The motor in it is a rotary style as opposed to brushless. It is the heaviest on the list coming in at about 17.6 ounces or 1.1 pounds if you prefer. These clippers have a runtime of about 180 minutes before they need to be recharged and for that you're going to use a dock. As for the price, you're looking at a modest $350 on average. Okay, another Andis on our list is the B-Spoke. They only have two speed settings, which is less than the pulse. Its strokes per minute, though, are quite good, ranging from about 3,800 up to about 4,500, which is the same max speed as the pulse, so that's good information to have. The motor is also a rotary style. It clocks in at 16.6 .6 ounces, so one ounce less, and converted to pounds, you're looking at about 1.03 pounds. So fairly negligible, but over time, it could make a difference. Runtime is only 80 minutes for these bad boys, and same as the Pulse, it uses a docking style station. Surprisingly though, this one will cost you about $50 more, coming in on average at about $400. We have one more Andis to look at though, and that is the Emerge. This one is a bit more of what I might consider a starter clipper, but it definitely holds up pretty well. So let's take a look at those specs. The Emerge has only one setting for speed, so that has a stroke per minute of 4,500, so that's the same as the highest speed setting for both the Pulse and the Bespoke. And it clearly has an affinity for rotary motors because the Emerge is also a rotary. Weight-wise, it is the lightest choice for Andis, coming in at about 16.3 ounces, which converted is 1.01 pounds. Runtime will give you a solid 90 minutes, but to charge it, it is corded, so it will need to be plugged in, but will continue to work corded, which is a nice option. This is the cheapest option on the list, coming in at about $260. Let's move on to the Heineggers. And I have to say, these are a personal favorite of mine. The first one I'm gonna to touch on is the Sapphires. They have just one speed setting, but that setting boasts a stroke per minute of 5,300, so that's pretty powerful. More so than any of the Andis Clippers. They are a rotary style motor and have a weight of about 15 ounces, which is equivalent to about 0.93 pounds. It has an excellent runtime of about 120 minutes and uses a dock as its charger. Heinegger Clippers do have the option of two batteries though, so that backup battery that was charging on the dock while you were using the clippers will get you an additional 120 minutes, which is pretty fantastic, but that does come with an increase in price, as you can imagine. So price-wise, it clocks in at about $380 for the clippers that have one battery, which is pretty average in terms of clipper pricing. The second Heinegger is the more powerful cousin, which is called the Opals, which is what I do personally own and use and love. So if you're looking for a personal endorsement, this would be it. The Opals have two speed settings, which range from about 4,200 up to 6,200, which makes it the most powerful clippers on our list at their top speed. It is, like the Sapphires, a rotary motor, and surprisingly, in terms of weight, it clocks in at slightly less than the Sapphires, 
which was partly how I did decide on them, since to me, more power with less pounds, I mean, come on, that tends to be hard to come by. They come in at 14.6 ounces, which is about 0.91 pounds. The runtime on them are about 240 minutes, which is double the sapphires and does have the additional battery option. So you could get a total of 480 minutes altogether if you did choose to purchase the two battery setup. Both of the clippers and the additional battery charge via the dock. So that is the same for either clipper by them. All that being said, it is the most expensive on the list, but well worth your money in my opinion, coming in at an average of $470, but that is just for one battery. Next up, we have the Joy Z's, and we're gonna start with the Falcons. They are a two speed clipper with a stroke per minute of 3200 up to 3600, which is very respectable power wise. They are the first on the list to offer a brushless motor. So if you're looking for brushless, the Joy Z's might be where you want to start. In terms of weight, they are the lightest set on the list, coming in at about 10.8 ounces, which is about 0.67 pounds. And they will run for about 200 minutes before quitting, which is quite impressive. And they also use a dock style charger, opposed to corded. Price-wise, they are the second cheapest on the list with an average overall price of $270. The more powerful Raptors by Joy-Z offers up three speed settings with a range of strokes per minute from 2,500 up to 3,800. As I mentioned, they are also a brushless motor system, but compared with the Falcons, they are significantly heavier at 14.7 ounces or 0.91 pounds. Runtime does come in a bit longer than the Falcons though at about 240 minutes and also uses a docking system to recharge. For a price, you are looking at an average of $390, which is creeping up into a more higher mid-range price. Now let's take a look at the Zolitas. Their recommended cordless clipper is called the Wave. It has two speed settings, which range from about 4,800 to 6,000 strokes per minute. They are a rotary motor system and come in a modest weight of about 12 ounces or 0.75 pounds. These clippers are tied with the next one on the list for the longest runtime, which clocks in at an impressive 300 minutes and to recharge also uses a docking system. In terms of price, it won't run you as much as the Heinegger Opals, but it still costs a pretty penny. Average overall price of the Waves is about $400. Our Tarot Hits are next on the list, and this one only has one speed setting, but the speed setting will get you 6,000 strokes per minute. So definitely powerful. They are also a rotary motor and come in at about 0.8 ounces, more than the Zolita Waves at 12.8 ounces or 0.8 pounds. Again, as I mentioned, they are tied with the Zolitas for runtime, giving the same runtime of 300 minutes. You will need to dock them as well to get them recharged, but it'll give your wallet a small break over the waves, coming in at about $50 less for an average of $350. The last brand on our list is a staple in the grooming community for years now, known for its reliability. That is Wall. And first, we're going to look at the cordless version of their KM10s. So the KM10s have two speed settings in the range from 3,000 strokes per minute up to 3,700, which at the bottom end is the lowest on the list. These clippers are brushless though. So again, there's less choice when looking for brushless, so this might be a good consideration if you're looking to go that route. Now, in terms of weight, you're looking at about 16 ounces, which is on par with the Andis versions that we talked about earlier. In pounds, it would be about one pound on the nose. Runtime will get you about 120 minutes and uses a corded charging system, which as I noted earlier, has the benefits in terms of continuing to work well plugged in. But be aware this does change the weight of the clippers and can be significant. Price-wise though, 
We're looking at an average of about $300, so definitely on the lower end of the spectrum of the list. Last but not least, we have the Wall KMXs, and just like the KM10s, they have two speed settings, but their strokes per minute are higher, clocking in at 3,700 up to 4,500, which is pretty average. Just like the 10s, they are a brushless motor system, and weight-wise, you are looking at just 0.1 ounce more than the 10s, coming in at 16.1 ounces, which when converted to pounds is just barely over one pound. Runtime is the same, lasting you 120 minutes, but the same as the KM10s, it is corded. So that gives you the option of plugging it in and continuing if it dies before you're finished. It's $50 more than the 10s, coming in at an average of $350, so a decent mid-range price. So which of these clippers reigns supreme? Well, I think that depends on your preference. But if you're also on the hunt for a blow dryer that doesn't break the bank, I break down the top five in this video right here.